Don't matter who's playing the CAA league game, no matter where it's played, it's going to be a one possession game. This one happened to be a one possession game from about the 10 minute mark on the second half, you know. 15 lead changes, that's one of the most we've had all season. Last year we played a game, I think, with 23 lead changes. That was the most we had in seven years. So this literally was a back and forth game, you know. And uh, obviously it's a rivalry game. There's emotion. There's a great crowd. There's emotion. And I think we all have, have dealt with it our own way at times. Um, losing our family member in Lamont Butts, a uh, moment of silence before the game, his family being here. Um, you know, I told the guys, hey, we got to do our job. So uh, I tried to bottle that emotion up, even myself personally, until after the game. But man, what a crowd. Uh, what a great basketball game. Glad it was on TV for people to see the DAC rocking in this product. Uh, and I couldn't be more proud of our basketball program and our team and how we responded to adversity today. And, and two real tangible people that did that. I thought the body language and next play mindset of these guys sitting beside me uh, was incredible today. Both made massive, massive big plays, but both also had to overcome maybe a tough call, a tough bounce, a turnover, whatever it may have been, they got to the next one. And uh, I think it bodes well for them as players as they continue to grow and it bodes well for our program. Zach, Zach, obviously this year has been predicated on stop, stop, stop. Scoring defense is, you know, up there in, in the yeah, rankings. Top 20 in the country, right? This, uh, the second half kind of got away from you a little bit. Was that just a little bit of two of the better shot makers in, in, the, in the conference going, going a little bit? I think there was a lot of shot makers in this game today. They had some, we had some. Um, they put you in some spots. They also uh, threw a pick and roll between someone's legs. Uh, when we had perfect coverage, they had perfect plays. So a lot of good offense there. Um, you know, Kevin Riley got going, so then you got to guard him, so then he gets spaced out a little more. Um, but the game is about stops and about defense, and it came down to it. Um, we had a great stand there late, a couple times, really. Was it like watching Amari's two blocks at the end there that were kind of sealed the deal for you guys? Uh, I, I could watch all of them. You know, I, I never get tired of seeing his blocks. Um, I mean, five blocks, let's be real, though. That's probably times four how many he's altered, right? It's probably, you know, a, a much bigger number in terms of guys going in and knowing he's there. Amari, I mean, how, how do you summarize your game today and what was it like uh, playing in front, of, in, in front of this crowd today? I mean, yeah, for one, it was a great crowd, you know. Thanks to everyone who came out, especially the student section on the weekend. Um, with defense, it's just... It's just something I've got to do, you know. Offense ain't always there, but as a team, I think we're great defensively. So I think that's the big thing we just kind of look on and just I think that's what won us the game. Um, I think it might be the best start under you here. Have you guys, have you felt anything different this year? What, anything special about this group? Uh, I, I think we just focus on being 1-0, right? We'll, we'll enjoy the heck out of this game and tonight and I know he's got to get ready for the Eagles game. He's probably more nervous for that than he was this game. But um, we're just going to try and go 1-0 and Thursday at A&T. Right? And I think that's been our mindset. We talk about why we're going to win. We address why we might lose, too. And then we just get to the next one. Why we could have lost. We could have lost Thursday. So I thought we had a healthy film session. And these guys bring the right mindset. Right? Coaches can help set a tone. But it's players that carry, carry the culture. And uh, I thought we had some really strong moments of that today. Justin, you've had a nice stretch of games here. Uh, anything that was feeling good for you today, or kind of have you felt yourself kind of get more comfortable and and play a bigger role? Uh, yeah, definitely. I feel like over since uh, the beginning of conference play, you know, just starting to get more comfortable. I was coming off of COVID, so it kind of messed my rhythm up, and just getting back and getting comfortable. And uh, my teammates and coaches just allowing me to be myself and be aggressive and play through my mistakes. Um, you know, as a freshman, you have up and downs, but at the same time, they trust me, they believe in me. We go to war at practice every day. We have each other's back every time. So, you know, it just, it makes you feel more comfortable and have more confidence when you have people backing you all the time. You guys see back and forth lineup and matchup today, Delaware versus Drexel. Jamie Bergen's had three steals, a couple on Jameer Nelson. Imagine what that's like every day in the DAC when there's not a game and it's Justin Moore going head to head against Jamie Bergen. I mean, that's the definition of ironing, sharpening iron. And, and it works, and they're able to play together at certain times versus certain matchups, and it makes us pretty good. A lot of guys contributed today. I thought, 
you know, there's some unsung heroes. We got two guys that were very productive on the stat sheet, but Jamie Perkins, man, rips him at half court and then gets a foul on him. I mean, that's a that's a big, big play. Yeah, I guess how much is that part of the team defense? There's a lot of guys <laughs> that maybe not even even blocks and steals might not show up every day, but how much is that important for that team defense that that it's been carrying I you guys? Think it's been our mindset, all right? Positioning in the right spots. You know, Riley had four, they only had one after that. So I thought we did a better job with him. And then, so Okris really guarded some good possessions today. His length did, you know, Coulter in Washington, who the ball may not be falling for him like it has, and we know that he can, but he's out there defending. I thought he did a good job on Nelson. He, he kept him guessing whether he's going over or under. We blew up handoffs. I think it was it you to blew up the handoff. We had a big foul late in the game. That's a huge play. So um, there's a lot of deflections. It's a team effort. It's a team effort. Now, can you be more aggressive when you got Amari Williams and Garfield Turner back there blocking shots? Of course. And that's that's how we want to build our roster. Luke seemed to be a little a little fired up on a couple of his drives, a couple of N1 twos. He was pumping up the crowd. Good to see him, uh, you know, making those plays and looking for some energy from the place. Maybe the least surprising, right? Like plays being made. Guys, guys, a machine. You know, he'll be in here tomorrow getting shots up probably. Like, it's just what he does. And uh, just, I'm happy for him, but all of our guys that put the work in, you can see the fruits of their labor right now. All right, thanks, guys. See you Thursday at A&T.